Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on distance on the coordinate plane. Our objective is to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane. Our real-world link is mountain biking. Evan was biking on a trail. A map of the trail is shown. His brother timed his ride from point A, which is there, to point B, which is up here. What do the blue and red lines on the graph represent? Well, I would say that the blue lines represent the horizontal, or left and right, and vertical, or up and down, distances between the two points. In other words, you can see where we have our horizontal distance and our vertical distance for the blue lines. What about the red line? Well, I would say that the red line represents the actual distance between the two points. from A to B. What type of form triangle is formed by the two lines? Well, looks like we have a 90 degree angle right here. Right there. So I would say that a right triangle was formed. Now one way of finding our distance here for line AC, or segment AC, is to actually count. Now the direction doesn't want us to count, but if we start here at A, we can say, okay, one, two, three, four. So my distance from A to C is four. Now the question though asks us, how can we do that without counting the number of grids? Well, if we look at the ordered pairs, from A to C, my Y coordinates are both 4, so that's not going to help. But my X coordinates are different. I could just do 7 minus 3, which is 4. What about for BC? Well, if I count up starting at C, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it looks like a half. And again, to do so without subtracting, for our vertical distance here, the sevens are the same for the x's, so that's not going to help. But what happens if I subtract nine and a half and four? Well, I once again get five and a half, which is what I counted. So one thing we can say for this is to say, well, let's subtract the x coordinates. for AC and subtract the Y coordinates for our segment BC. And what are the lengths of the two lines? Well, we counted these. Or you could also subtract 7 minus 4, which again was here the 7 minus, excuse me, not 4, but 3. Got us 4. Jumped ahead there. And then for BC, 9.5 minus 4 is 5.5. And, and now when we want to write an equation using the Pythagorean theorem, 
Well, let's label these sides. AC was 4. BC was 5 and a half. And when we look here, the red line is our C, it's our hypotenuse. And I'm going to call my 4A and my 5 and a half B. So instead of A squared plus B squared equals C squared, I can just say, okay, 4 squared, that's my A, plus 5 and a half squared, that's my B, is going to equal C squared. And that's how you could find the length for AB. Now one way to find distance on the coordinate plane is to use the Pythagorean theorem. And our first guided example here does that just that, where it graphs the ordered pairs 3, 0, which is right there, and 7, negative 5, and it wants to find this distance c. Well, the way we can do this is to draw a vertical line and a horizontal line so that we have a right angle, and we have a right triangle so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve. And you can see where they did that. And for side a down here, we start here at the corner, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. For side B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 4 squared plus 5 squared is 41, and the square root of 41 is about 6 and 4 tenths. So 6 and 4 tenths units apart. Now we can try this on our own. We can graph the point 1, 3, which is right here. And we can graph the point negative 2, 4. which is up here. And so now the distance that we're going to be looking for is this line here, which is really hard to count on the graph. So what we're going to do is to draw a line down and a line across so we can form a right triangle. Now. This side is just a length of 1. This side here, we have, starting at 0, we can count 1, 2, 3. So that side has a length of 3. And now if we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, again, our right angle is right here, and we're solving for c. So 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. 1 plus 9 is going to equal c squared. 10 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides. And our solution here is going to be about 3 and 2 tenths units. Now there is another way to get our 1 and our 3 besides counting. If we look at our points, here this was the point 1, 3, and this was the point over here, when I say over here I mean right there, that point is negative 2, 3. If you find the difference, say 1 minus negative 2, that gets us 3. Or if you're looking at for the point up here, that's negative 2, 4. The difference there is 4 minus 3, which is 1. So again, you can use subtraction with the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates also to get your 1 and your 3 in case you have a hard time counting on your graph. Now, there is another way to find distances on the coordinate plane, and that is by using the distance formula. Now you can also use the distance formula to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane. You can use the model from the key concept box above to see how the distance formula is based on the Pythagorean theorem as shown. When we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's our Pythagorean theorem. Now, for a, for our length of a, that's just x2 minus x1. Remember where we were going 3 minus negative 1? or something like that. 
Well, that's the same thing. We're saying, okay, the distance here is represented by x2 minus x1. And that's there. Our vertical distance is going to be represented by y2 minus y1. And that's going to be our b. Now, to solve just for c, we would take the square root of all of that. And so the distance formula really comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Now, it says on the map, each unit represents 45 miles. West Point, New York is located at one and a half, two, right there. And Annapolis, Maryland is located at negative one and a half, negative one and a half, which is right around here. What is the approximate distance between West Point and Annapolis? Well, you could use the Pythagorean theorem like we did in example one. And say, okay, A is 3, B is about 3.5, that's 21 and 25 hundredths, and take the square root and you get 4.6. Or instead of going, okay, can, it's kind of hard to count here, we can use the distance formula, which involves subtracting our x-coordinates, which involves subtracting our y-coordinates. We still get the same 9 and 12 and 25 hundredths that we would from right here. We're still taking the square root ultimate at the end of 21 and 25 hundredths. And we still get 4.6. Now, 4.6 units, we'd have to take and multiply that by 45 to actually get our 207 miles since each unit was 45 miles. Now, as we try this on our own, it says Cromwell Field is located at about 2.5, 3.5. Dudeau field at one and a half, four and a half on the map. If each, each unit is one tenth of a mile, about how far apart are these fields? We could use the Pythagorean theorem, especially if you had a graph where you could count the points. But we're going to focus now on the distance formula since we don't have a graph. So the first thing we want to do here, let's write out our points. We have two and a half three and a half, and we have one and a half, four and a half. Now we need to call one of these x1, y1, and the other x2, y2. And it really does not matter which one you call which, so I'm just going to call the first one x1, y1, and I'll call the second one x2, y2. That way, when I substitute into this distance formula, I won't be confused as to where the numbers go. So now I can say, all right, C is going to equal the square root. X2, we're calling 1 and a half. X1 was 2 and a half. That's going to be squared plus y2 is 4.5, y1 3.5, that's going to be squared. You will just extend the square root sign above all of it. 1.5 minus 2.5 is negative 1, plus 4.5 minus 3.5 is just, well, 1 squared. This negative one and a half squared is negative one times negative one is just one. One squared is one times one is just one. So c is going to equal the square root of two. And the square root of two is about one and forty one hundredths. Now if each unit map unit is one tenth of a mile we're going to take this 1.41, multiply it by 0 0.1, and we're going to get about 0 0.141 miles. And that's our answer. It says use the distance formula to find the distance between x, 4, negative 4, and y, 
negative 3, 2, and round to the nearest tenth if necessary. And now you can see where x1, y1 was the first ordered pair, x2, y2 was the second. We made our substitutions in. Paid attention to our subtraction of integers. And then took the square root. The more you practice this formula, the better you'll get at it. That is it for this lesson. Good luck.